Okay, so hello everyone. Uh, my name is Kamil. This is Tomas, Stoyan, Basti, uh, Sam, uh, Sahar, and uh, Jitesh. Uh, we are a group of researchers from UniSA, uh, and today we have the hottest day on record. So right now we have 45.5. Uh, it's cooled down a little. It's cooled down a lot. <laughs> yeah, we feel so much better now. And as it's quite a special day, uh, we are gonna do a little experiment. So we're gonna fry eggs on carbonates. That's my car. So actually currently we're reading 87 degrees on the carbonate. <laughs> No, I think it definitely makes a difference if you take a bigger... So what's the temperature of the egg? 27. Mm, 27. Yeah. 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 To prevent the mess, I'm actually gonna put some oil on my car. <laughs> 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 and see how it goes. So the eggs from the fridge. <laughs> ah, they're a little bit sticky. Ah, they're sliding off. <laughs> we have to find so, flat apart. So we have a partial success because, as you can see, the uh, white is already setting. Uh, uh, second uh, attempt yeah. on the roof. Come on, egg, stay in place. Now, as you see, it's already setting on sides. Let it go, and in parallel. We are gonna do a test on a frying pan uh, that's uh, placed onto bitumen. There you go. Uh, that was, uh, that was so what's the temperature of ah. that, what's the temperature of your dashboard? Oh, 113. Wow. <laughs> so, so so but I'm not 13. putting an omelette in there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> come on, Thomas, please do it for the science. For science. No, no, I think it is hot enough. <laughs> uh, I don't want my car to melt. <laughs> Next, you have to take it to the car wash. <laughs> Find a reason to wash the car. You see, it's already setting. It usually takes few minutes to get it up to temperature where the proteins yeah, start coagulating. 86 degrees on top. So we are recording 86 yeah. degrees. Oh yours is high, okay. How much is it? What's that? 98? 98. Oh wow. Okay, we got up to 98 degrees at the top of uh, this roof. But there's few things that uh, take into play. So first is how much energy is stored uh, within uh, that body of metal. It's quite a thin sheet, so it's probably one to two mils. So it doesn't store a lot of energy. It may get up to high temperature, but then the egg uh, needs uh, a fair bit of energy to heat up and coagulate. So that's why it all takes so much time. Yeah. <laughs> yep, that's a good area. point. <laughs> yeah. Increased surface area. It's not normally how you would fry eggs, but that'll do. Yeah, it's um, already partly set, but you see that it's actually drying faster than uh, the that's right. than it sets. That's right. Yeah. So that's another effect we are we haven't considered at this temperature. We actually ha record something in the range of 17 not wind, north, northernly wind. So uh, that makes everything dry very fast. So one scramble eggs of the car. Basically, <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. definitely when you switch it around, <laughs> you get, there you go, it goes it goes wide. Outside as well. So as the time passes, uh, our egg is uh, slowly setting, but the thing is the same as with the frying pan. It's probably drying faster than it's setting, though we can clearly see the yolk already uh, changing consistency. So we start getting more and more coagulation in the yolk. Now, one thing that I've been pointed by my colleagues is that in this exercise we are using an infrared thermometer and they work in a little bit different way than uh, 
what you might have uh, outdoors, which is most likely K-type thermocapu or a thermistor. So uh, that device is more sensitive to the infrared emissivity and that might actually change with the type of surface we measure, whether it be more or less reflective. So the measurements uh, we've been taking today are not exact and probably would need to be confirmed with a thermocapu or other device of similar kind. So they still give quite a good estimate of uh, what's happening out here. Now, if you ever wanted to base your decision on what car to buy, on how it heats up when left on a car park, this is a black car left in full sun on a uh, 46 degree day. The bonnet's at 91 degrees. And this is a white car. Same conditions, 64 degrees. There you go. So at the moment it's uh, 3.34 and 15 minutes ago we just broke another record with temperature being recorded at 30, 47 degrees. Uh, now the frying pan still at 45, 46 degrees and the egg seems to be actually drying faster than it's setting and it's nearly finished. Now our car roof experiment uh, seemed to have concluded the first egg has fully set, though as you see there's not much of it left, it's mainly desiccated, so it means dried. So to wrap things up, we did get the hottest day on record, with uh, the highest temperature recorded today being 47.7 degrees recorded at Prafield Airport. Uh, now, uh, frying eggs in weather like that is possible, though quite slow. They are probably not the uh, winning uh, recipes since uh, they get desiccated and uh, they don't look extremely tasty. Uh, now another learning was that if you ever have a choice, pick yourself a car that's uh, bright in color. In days like today it's gonna save you on aircon and when you get into the car you're likely to have uh, 20 degrees lower temperature than in a black car. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Zuber out.